Ahoy there, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing my first Assassin's Creed Black Flag video using the Avner Pro capture device that I'd purchased. And the reason I'm doing Assassin's Creed Black Flag, I had played it before on Xbox 360. And I'd wanted to play it again, so I purchased the Xbox One and installed it on my Xbox Series X. And it's incredible. It is much more detailed and more enjoyable to play. So I figured I would finish up Black Flag, do some videos, move on to the next Assassin's Creed, which I didn't play. And I missed out on about four or five of the games because I never got an Xbox One. But I digress. Um, this is opening up a new location called Cumberland Bay. And when you first arrive at Cumberland Bay, you come upon a man of war. And this is a great opportunity for Kenway to not only take down a man of war and all of its cargo but to add one of the most powerful ships to his fleet and it's very easy to do because the man of war is damaged to begin with and a few volleys of mortars and you can take this man of war down to start with you might want to unlock this location here nasa or navasa and then sail from there to Cumberland Bay, which is right here on the world map. And it's a pretty decent, it's a decent journey in distance. And it's very straightforward to get to. You've got to avoid some conflict. But if you're a pirate and you relish in the conflict, you can take down some other ships along the way. Now, again, there's other ways and other areas you can start at to get to Cumberland Bay. I'm just doing it this way. And in the future, there is a mission from that location, Navasa, that is an assassination mission that um, Edward will have to go to Cumberland Bay for in order to um, finish. So. Let's get on with the takedown of the Man of War. On your journey, you may come up to some small islands which have indicators of um, treasure or something on them, like these fragments. And if you pick up these animus fragments, it helps out with the game progress. Now, you can play the game straightforward and just do all the main missions and make it through. I tend to like to explore and find things. And uh, when I get to cities, I will pick up all the treasures and the fragments and everything. Or any location for that matter. Because uh, you can craft and do things. I'll probably do a video on hunting, which is important, and you can make um, Kenway stronger and a much more efficient assassin by upgrading him and doing certain things. Let us continue on, though, with our journey to take down a man of war. When you come upon Cumberland Bay, you can see the man of war sitting there. The Pembroke. And what you want to do is bring the ship you're on, the Jackdaw, to a full stop and use mortars. Two volleys of mortars should be able to take down the Pembroke. It is already damaged. They're going to try and shoot the Jackdaw, 
but your second volley will disable the Pembroke, and all you have to do is speed up and stay on the outer edges of their mortar volley, and the Jackdaw will take no damage. Then you bring the Jackdaw in for boarding, and there are some specific tasks that Kenway will have to complete besides killing a bunch of the um, other crew. And so you don't want to get caught up attacking the other crew. You want to bring Kenway up closest to the back end of the Pembroke and get on the ship as quickly as possible while your crew is reeling it in. You want to use smoke bombs. And the reason you want to have smoke bombs is people are going to try and stop you from your goal. You throw a few smoke bombs to dissuade them. And first thing you want to do is, again, get Kenway to the back of the ship here and throw some smoke bombs. And you want to climb up this rigging here. And you want to take down um, some enemy snipers. and. Doing that is requiring of you to climb up these riggings. And what you want to do is climb up this mast, run across this beam, get onto this rope, run up this rope, and get to this um, platform. And there is one of the guys you have to kill. And he is, I believe, an officer. And if you kill him, well, and you take down this guy, you'll have to shoot him. You don't want to go across. You just want to shoot this guy. And once he is down, switch to smoke bombs and use this hook to bring Kenway down to fight um, the bad guys, or should I say the opposing crew. And again, smoke bombs work really well. Once you take down... A couple of the crew, there's an officer, you've killed two officers, now you have to kill 20 crew. And that is easy enough, you let your people deal with it, throw some smoke bombs, and what you want to do is you want to get up to the middle mast. Once you kill off 20 crew, or get close to killing off 20 crew. You want to get Kenway to the middle mast, which I'm still killing people here. Yeah, that's easy enough to do, but the fighting will continue. So you have to destroy the enemy flag, and you get up to... Nope, Kenway's running around. Yeah. You want to get to the middle mast here, and yeah, I'm running around here like an idiot. This is not doing any good. Again, um, up, over, <laughs> sorry about this, uh, yeah, okay, right here, the middle mast, throw a smoke bomb, kick a few guys around, and you want to get up here and activate this. It'll bring Kenway up, and he's got to climb some more. And once he climbs up to the top here and destroys the flag, you got to work your way around and up this rigging here, and up this point, and you cut down the flag. You just hit the B button to destroy the flag. And once you have cut the flag down, you succeed in taking over the ship. And there's a nice cut scene. You don't have to work your way down to the ship uh, deck. You can make a decision here. And once you make that decision, you can either repair the Jackdaw, lower wanted level, or send to Kenway's fleet. You send to Kenway's fleet. This means you have one of the most powerful ships as part of your fleet. I actually had destroyed all of the schooners in Kenway's fleet because they're useless. You want to get brigs or better. And I believe there's a brig and a frigate 
in Kenway's fleet right now. And I just added the Man of War. Now, to open up Cumberland Bay here. And again, I run around and I try and find all the treasures and the high locations and everything in an area and unlock it completely, as well as hunting. Hunting, again, is very important for improving Kenway. And I've already achieved a few things. Now, there's one viewpoint, three chests, two animus fragments, and a secret. And now I'm going to look on the map here. There's the viewpoint. Once I get to the viewpoint and sync everything up, then this location will be available for fast travel, which makes life easier when you're trying to complete the main game. And yeah, this is a very interesting thing to get to. I'll let it play out and you can see how I did it. The area is synchronized and available for fast travel, and the first Animus Fragment is found. Now, the next thing to do is I'm going to do some treasure hunting, and I will fast forward to the first treasure, which is probably one of these two, or... Actually, this one will be the easiest one to get. The others are hidden. And also, I will be doing some hunting. Hunting is actually very important. Not only do you get goods to sell to help Kenway, and here's the first treasure to unlock. You don't get a lot of money with these, but you collect them and you get them all, and you wind up actually. It helps out. And again, like I said, hunting helps out. Now, these other treasures are hidden. This is Ocelot, which is what you can hunt. And this chest, well, I'll just fast forward to the next locations. Or if Kenway goes hunting, I will stop. Okay, the next chests are hidden. So I'm going to switch to hunting. And hunting is, again, important. You get some goods, and you can actually craft some nifty outfits for Kenway, as well as make money. Now, I use the Eagle Vision to hunt. In fact, if you go through a certain mission in Assassin's Creed, you compete against someone to do some hunting. And usually I use the gun, or if you are hunting, the wrist blades are the best if you are not using a gun. So let's move on to the treasure locations. Okay, after doing some hunting, I decided to go for this uh, dead sailor 
and yeah, I'm going to skin the ocelot, and now I'm going to take this treasure map. Now, these treasure maps, if you can find the items, they actually allow you to upgrade the jackdaw or even Kenway to some extent, and they're very good. You might think, well, why do I want to go look for these stupid treasure maps? Um, like I said, you get various upgrades to the jackdaw, and some of them actually will give you an advantage when it comes to combat. And that's always a good thing. Now, this treasure and the other treasures that I was looking for, they're on the inside here in this kind of bay alcove. And trying to find them is a pain. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit to show you where the next treasure is located. Okay, after a lot of running around and searching, I finally figured out how to get these treasures. This one is located in a hidden alcove on the interior, as is the other. And you wind up, um, they're hidden. So you got to kind of search around the bushes and the trees, and you'll notice rock formations that you can walk up. Uh, do a little hunting here. Ocelots don't attack. Jaguars do. So this next treasure you can see is right here, and it's hidden. And you got to kind of walk around, take a look. And there I go. Right there are some rock formations right here. And you can walk up, and the treasure is right here. Now, I have all the chests and the secret, and now I'm going to go for the last Animus Fragment, and I will have Cumberland Bay completely explored. And again, this place opens up for several different missions. One of them is an assassination mission, which I'll do a video on later, but... Now that I have Cumberland Bay completely explored, I'm going to try and hunt a few ocelots here. Again, hunting is important. It gets goods and improves Kenway. Now, there is another ocelot, but I won't go after him. I'll just have Kenway get the Animus Fragment. There he is, and he runs away very quickly. And you can see some ships there in the background. But next, Animus Fragment, and that is Kenway's goal. Now, there is still a message in the bottle to collect, and then I will have Cumberland Bay completely explored, and I can send Kenway back to the Jackdaw and check on his fleet, maybe use the Pembroke in some conflict. I don't know. But once I get this message in the bottle, Cumberland Bay is complete. And... There you have it. These messages, actually, if you get them as well, they tell a story. And again, you're not doing this for nothing. There are rewards in the end as far as improvements to Kenway, locations to greater wealth, etc. And you kind of, like I said, you can play the entire game through just doing the base missions, and if you come across a chest while doing one, open it. But exploring, they put this game together for you to explore and round things up for a reason. And again, you get greater success. Well, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. 
Leave a comment. I always reply to comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos a week and you won't miss out on all the great content. Again, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by.